a new free modern warfare 2 pre-order bonus just released we're going to go through in today's video how to redeem it and what you're going to get with this pre-order bonus and we're going to talk about other potential pre-order bonuses for mw2 in the near future be sure to like the video subscribe if you're new we're getting super close to 94k on the channel and be sure to check out my facebook gaming page exclusive videos over there every day a bunch of different games cod a lot of other warzone mw2 videos as well that you're not going to see on youtube so links are down below really do appreciate that guys but for this video here, let's hop into the game. Now, I was originally in Warzone and MW checking this out, but you have to be in Vanguard Store here. So we're here on Facecam. How you guys doing? In Vanguard Store, Final Judgment. It says here, free with digital pre-order of Call of Duty Vanguard, MW. I don't know why it says Vanguard, but Modern Warfare 2. Carve up the competition with the Final Judgment bundle. Kind of interesting. I'm seeing on Twitter a lot of people are saying, why did they pick this bundle as a random pre-order bonus? They didn't even advertise it. I mean, I didn't see Call of Duty or IW tweet this out. But apparently, again, this bundle here costs 1,500 COD points. But if you have MW2 pre-ordered digitally, you get access to this for free. Pretty cool stuff there, I guess. Let's go through this bundle here. Let's see what we get. So first up here, we have a Death Nail Lucas skin. Pretty cool. We'll click on him here. Check him out. It's actually not a bad skin. What's unfortunate here is that for MW2 and Warzone 2, you're not going to be able to use these operator skins here in these blueprints. So kind of sucks, but uh, again, it, it's free. I guess that's not that big of a deal for now, but still kind of sucks that you can't transfer this over. It would be cool if they brought this over to, you know, the next generation of COD MW2 as well, but we'll see what happens there. We have another AR, Bloodthirsty. This is where the Automaton, of course, pretty cool stuff here. I mean, again, I actually kind of like this bundle, Death's Judgment calling card. You know, the calling cards are always okay. I'm never too, you know, excited for a calling card or an emblem in a game, but this is pretty cool, I guess. We have an emblem here, Underworldly, pretty cool. Devil's Head, Reticle. I, I, I hate these reticles. I never use these different reticles here, but I guess it's a cool theme. It fits what's going on here. Night Stalk sticker. Uh, it's loading here. Okay. Eh, okay. You know, pretty cool. Uh, we have this Lucas Quip here. Let's see. I, it's I, am. I don't know if you guys heard that, but eh, okay, whatever. And then another one here. Please get a bloody nose. I don't know about that. But the, the blueprint here and the skin, definitely the best parts usually of the bundle. And they are pretty cool. Like this blueprint skin is pretty sick. So overall, it look it's a cool bundle you get it for free if you pre-order this game digitally but obviously is it a really big deal not really it's kind of weird why we're not seeing you know maybe more of an mw2 themed type pre-order bonus i'm going to talk more about that we're going to hop into mw 2019 and we'll talk more about pre-order bonuses what else we could see for this game and all that good stuff all right guys real quick i'm editing this video right now and unfortunately the game volume is so so loud i mean it's not bad you can still hear what i'm talking about but it's a bit loud so i know some people are going to comment the game volume is way too loud i recognize that i was recording something else and i had this game volume too loud for call of duty it's whatever but you're going to see on candor hideout after this you know game on kill house i do so so well so please watch the video candor hideout it's going to be a couple minutes from now i get like 60 plus kills pretty good for a live commentary for me so keep on watching uh hopefully it's not too bad uh hopefully you guys enjoy all right guys so we're here in kill house but talking more about the pre-order stuff i want to get your guys' opinions on this here what do you guys think about this bundle i mean overall i think i have to be principled here in my analysis like i can't knock call of duty for giving us extra pre-order bonus content like even though it's just a bundle you know maybe it's not a big deal i'm not gonna hate on them for giving us some extra free stuff i'm definitely not gonna do that but overall i want to see more stuff just themed towards mw2 and things that will actually get us hyped because i mean i'm a big believer in good marketing and so far the marketing for mw2 has been pretty solid i mean i'm pretty excited i'm about you guys I mean, obviously we have the most liked tweet for the reveal of all time I feel like, yeah, this is a sweaty lobby hooky. Um, we have obviously the trailer doing super well, performing well on YouTube. And um, yeah, overall, it seems like people are fairly hyped, but having stuff that, you know, it doesn't really make sense, like that random bundle in Vanguard and Warzone, I don't know. It, it, it doesn't hurt the marketing, but it doesn't really help. So let me know down below what other forms of marketing you want to see, especially in terms of pre bonuses. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, in terms of pre-order bonuses for MW2, I mean, a big one that everyone's been talking about. I mean, not everyone, but a lot of the hardcore COD fans, they've been talking about an actual collector's edition, something physical to actually, you know, have a part of MW2. Now, I'm pretty sure the last collector's edition with a physical item for pre-ordering the max edition was MW2 19, right? So that game had the night vision goggles, so that was pretty cool. I didn't get it, unfortunately. It is a lot of money. I mean, again, this... This, yeah, this 
bro. All right, guys, I raged. I had to leave that lobby. Uh, just a bit too sweaty for me. I'm not going to lie. But overall, uh, again, for MW2, it, look, chances are we don't get a collector's edition. But I feel like it would really make the hype for this game a lot better than it is right now. Just something about a good collector's edition is just so, so cool, in my opinion. And for MW2, I, again, I don't know exactly what they could do. Obviously, some type of artifact or thing that was popular back in the original MW2. Or maybe something a part of the new game. Who knows? I mean, I was just thinking, like, what if they had, uh, you know, Ghost's mask or something? Or, um, you know, people... I think people were joking around a while back about Price's cigar being a pre-order bonus. Just something funny like that. Like, that would be pretty sick overall. Um, I don't know. It, it would be cool. But, again, these are the things that really aren't that big of a deal. The main thing here, of course, is, like, the actual game itself. Gameplay, the weapons, the maps. If those are good, you know, who really cares what the pre-order bonus was? And I feel like nowadays you could see the pre-order bonuses overall, like they're good for MW2, but they're not that good. They're not that, you know, extreme or, oh, I have to get this top tier level to get this, you know, Ghost Legacy pack. Like the Ghost Legacy pack is cool, but is it that cool? Not really. I feel like nowadays it's more just about the microtransactions. I think, I think Activision realizes that, you know, you could have the best pre-order bonuses and stuff and it could be so cool, but majority of the money now is going to be made post launch from all the bundles they're gonna you know release so and why why would you have it in a pre-order bonus where you're gonna make like 20 extra bucks per copy you could sell all those bundles separately for 20 bucks a pop in the store throughout all these seasons of mw2 and again mw2 might have two dlc seasons so you're gonna sell all these bundles for huge profits there and you would make a lot more money than you would have selling it as a pre-order bonus you get what i'm saying here so uh, again you know i'm not trying to hate on activism here this is just how business works you know what i mean i'm just thinking from like their perspective that's probably what they're thinking it's probably why we're not going to see crazy pre-order bonuses if for mw2 or probably for the future call of duty games which again is unfortunate but i don't know maybe a collector's edition is just not cost effective for them as well i don't know it could be something like that so who knows what the reason is and i don't know for sure if we're going to get a collector's edition or not we could still get one i feel like they used to reveal them a bit later in the year i don't think a collector's edition was ever revealed this early i feel like it's always the summer so, you know, we'll see very soon. Maybe around the NP reveal, which could be uh, around July, early August, I would say, right before the beta. Maybe we'll get some information on that. But as of now, would I expect any other crazy pre-order bonuses for this game? Definitely not. I got it. This game, you know, this game. I like Modern Warfare 2019's multiplayer, but sometimes it gets just a bit too crazy, man. It gets a bit too crazy. Ten seconds. Get ready to move. Oh. Be advised, UAV is being off you. Friendly UAV over. I feel so much. Oh my god. Let's go. Okay, get to the half point. Enemy's got the half point. I'm spawn as well. Oh, come on, come on. But yeah, so shit. But yeah, are we gonna are we gonna see anything else for this game? Probably not. Uh, in terms of pre-order bonuses, which is fine. Again, that's not a big deal whatsoever. But let's see what happens. I'm open to anything here. Oh, this is getting kind of crazy right now. This is staring at a wall. Oh my god, they're not paying attention. Oh my god. Wait, how did I just get a? No way. I thought I was playing like kind of bad, but I guess not. Cross him, cross him. Spawn's flip. Come on, one more kill. Fancy wave V action, come on, come on. We're spawning right here. I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like this, guys. Let's go, baby. Woo. See, this is the thing, man. Lobbies could be sweaty, and other times lobbies could get ton of. That's just called duty, honestly. Sometimes you have great games, great lobbies, bad lobbies. You gotta try harder. It's just how it is. This game is definitely unique in the, like in that like you could be you could be playing so well. Oh my god, I can't even speak. There's so many kills here. 
You could be playing so well and have a great time and the kills are super satisfying. And you could be playing terribly and you feel like you're getting shot from such crazy movie places and it's like the worst thing in the world. Like it's it's honestly so crazy with this game. I don't know. I enjoyed that. I'm growing to really enjoy it. Some more kills out here. What's going on? Dude. These, these guys seem kind of bad actually. Look at that. I'm just running through here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Oh my god. Look at that. Go, baby. Oh. These footsteps are kind of loud. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Did I get that kill? Yep. Let's go. Oh, too many, too many people. Oh my god, I honestly, that would, that would have been so bad. Let's actually, yo, let's win this game, honestly. 90, Come on. Let's stop messing around out here. Location secured. One try to get these back on. Reloading. Looking the wrong way, come on, baby. Oh, UAV on station. Ready for fly out. Calling for recall. Oh. UAV entering the AO. Oh, wait. Where? <laughs> Go. Oh, my God. See, I gotta, like, not push up as much. Oh, they got him. Nice. Oh my god. Who's crying now? Enemy UAV overhead. Go, go. We're losing control. I was not ready for that. Ah, Fucking not what you want to see. Go. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Let's go. Wait, can we win off this? No, let's go. I was kind of scared. Let's go, baby. Good, good pop W out there. Let's get it. All right, what did we do that game? 60 kills? Oh my god. Oh, we got played. That was a fire game. What? Usually, I don't play that well during live commentaries just because, like, you know, you're not focusing. Um, 60 and 18. Ah, oh, that's great for a live comm, man. Uh, yo, <laughs> I get good gameplays usually off live comms when I'm just focusing and not talking, but that was pretty good. That was low-key pretty good. So, um, I guess that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more MW2, Warzone 2, update, new league videos, etc. Um, two of the videos up on screen that may interest you, so be sure to check one of them out. Really do appreciate it, guys. Shout out to the YouTube channel members as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.